in today's video, 7 million zombies lay siege to the Space Marine Island defense. On the island, we have all sorts of Warhammer units, including Kriegsmarine over here with some shotgun walkers. We've got cluster missile tanks that are going to be providing cover fire for a bunch of Black Templar chain swordsmen. We've got some Chaos Sorcerers, as well as some Warhammer 3 units over here, including Crossbowmen of the Imperial Army and Spearmen of the Imperial Army. Of course, over here, we've got the Imperial Guardsmen, and they are going to be providing Overwatch for some Chaos Marines over this way. And then, finally, we are going to be having the Emperor of Mankind over here being guarded by a bunch of of space marines ultramarines if you will about 500 of them right there guarding the emperor against the zombie demon army that is laying siege to their island defenses if you guys do enjoy this video please be sure to hit that like button subscribe and comment down below what are their ultimate epic battle simulator 2's videos you would like to see either way let's get into it What's up gamers, I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton so thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to instant gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel Alrighty then boys pressing start right now and this battle is underway so we can already see the cluster missiles in the distance firing away uh, but beyond that we've also got zombies over here charging these chaos marines very epic. So, uh, actually, these are Urukai coming in. <laughs> so, a little, little bit of Lord of the Rings versus Warhammer 40k. I've done actually a video of that in the past, and Warhammer 40k just absolutely curb stomped Lord of the Rings. So, what do you expect, though? I mean, it's, it's Warhammer, one of the most overpowered. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know what fantasy worlds of all time versus Lord of the Rings, which is one of my favorite fantasy worlds of all time, but when it compares to other things, it's it's a little bit weaker, so what do you expect? But that could be a fun one to do again in the future and like just have it be like 10 Space Marines versus all of Lord of the Rings, I don't know, <laughs> something goofy. Either way, we've got Imperial Guardsmen over here and they seem to be having no problem dispatching these orcs over this way. There's also some of those military zombies. Those military zombies are awfully deadly. I only put them up against some of the best armies that we have to offer, and, uh, you know, Warhammer is definitely one of those. As you can see, the military zombies over here are crushing the Imperial Spearmen over this way from Warhammer 3. Uh, the crossbowmen don't seem to be very accurate either, so they're not getting a whole awful lot of kills and not really helping out the Spearmen all that much either. So the Imperial Spearmen and Imperial Crossbowmen over this way might die out pretty quick, but we do, of course, have the Chaos Sorcerers behind them who might be able to do a little something-something. All right, here's the cluster uh, missile systems, which seem to be firing more so on the Kriegsmarine side of things versus the uh, Imperial... What are these guys called? Templar... Black Templar Chain Swordsmen over here, who probably need more help because these guys are melee only. Uh, but then again, they do have crazy health and they're very good. They're fighting some zombie women over this way. Uh, it looks like they are getting bloodied. They're, they're having a little bit of difficulty, but they should be good for a few hundred thousand kills, I would think. There's about 6,000 of them on the battlefield. And of course, they're fighting against 7 million total zombies. So hopefully they can get a few hundred thousand kills and protect those cluster marines for a while because that's the big thing. We want those cluster marines, uh, sorry, not cluster marines, cluster missile systems staying alive for quite some time. Over here, we've got some trolls mixed with some standard zombies as well. They're getting hit by those cluster missile systems. But of course, they've also got the Kreese Marine over here firing away really, really nicely. They're protecting this bridge. These are runner zombies coming up. So these guys might take some losses because they are extraordinarily fast. They can be extremely problematic 
in these long scale battles because they can just run straight up and get a few quick hits. It's like a blitzkrieg of zombies. Uh, but we do, of course, have those shotgun units back here, which will hopefully help protect these Kriegsmarine at least a little bit. They do some pretty serious damage, so they should be able to one shot any of these trolls that come forward. Well, maybe not. Oh, well. Actually, they did fall over, so yeah, I think they do one-shot the trolls, which is going to be extremely helpful, but still, those fast runner zombies do s just, like, split in there, man. They just run on in, get a few swings in. It's going to be problematic long-term for sure. All right, let's move over this way, uh, and we can see that some Colossal Titans are making their way in. A number of them have died. We got a nice little booty hole. Oh, it went away uh, <laughs> right over there. And actually, those Space Marines on the opposite side, the Ultramarines, are firing away a lot of their shots hitting the ground but other shots are managing to connect across the bridge here and that's helping the imperial guardsmen on this side so that's actually a pretty nice deal that these guys are able to do supportive fire and then they're also doing supportive fire against this mountainside over here i mean these zombies and trolls up this way are literally just waiting patiently as uh, their fellow comrades die in front of them for their own turn to go and die and serve the demon army. So those space marines are just getting freebie kills on them, which is pretty baller. That's really, really nice. Uh, so not too bad right there. I think we are going to be seeing some body bridges getting built along here, which can add alternative routes to come and attack these guys. How did a zombie get in here, and why is he just, like, constantly doing twirly birds? I don't... I don't know. I'm going to ignore it. It is what it is. Whatever. <laughs> oh, Colossal Titan comes really close. Now, if those guys even step foot next to the Imperial Guardsmen, hundreds of Imperial Guardsmen will die. That's how those uh, Colossal Titans work, is that they step and they cause like a little thunder boom where they step and they do damage that way. They can also swing at you, which is also extremely devastating. But literally, if they just step on top of you, hundreds of people are going to be dying. So rip, rip, potato chip when that inevitably happens over there. Wow, look at the body piles over here with the Chaos Marines. Chaos Marines getting down and dirty against these zombies over here. They're getting real bloodied from all this action. Well, this is nice. Very nice. Now, can someone in the comment section please explain to me are Chaos Marines, like, corrupted Space Marines or something like that? Or are they also with the Imperials? How does that work? This is obviously more just like a general Warhammer video with Warhammer versus Zombies, but I am very curious how the Chaos Marines come into play in the Warhammer universe overall, because I am a little bit confused by that. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we should have trolls coming down this way. Oh, also some runner zombies over here, too. Of course, those space marines are providing some cover fire for the chaos marines up here. But there's some trolls getting in there and flipping over some chaos marines. Not too bad. So this side of the chaos marines is taking a lot more damage uh, than over here where they just have to fight against regular old zombies. Not too shabby. Oh, and some urukai, of course, too. We can't, can't forget the urukai that are over here. And then those military zombies, how are they doing against the, uh, the boys over here? Ooh. All right, so they push pretty deep in this way. However, now they seem to be getting shot down by the crossbowmen. So this is definitely the weakest point in the Space Marine defense. And if this Colossal Titan comes any closer, he will be getting some kills. Um, but for now, that still stands. All right, and over here, the Chain Swordsmen are still defending against the female zombies over here, which is a unit we don't use very often. Um, but it just... I, I was looking at the zombie units, and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot I forgot this one existed. Normally we use like the burned zombies and stuff like that um, as peripheral zombies, but I figured let's use some of these. Oh, we got some military zombies over here, so they're actually cutting into the flanks of the chain swordsmen over this way and getting some kills in the side. That's actually a really, really nice little flank they're doing because those military zombies are so powerful, they're able to eat up some of these flank troopers. Oh, but there is some of those cluster missile systems coming in hot. Not too bad. Everyone still seems to be standing for the most part right now. I would say the biggest at-risk section is over here. So why don't we go ahead and time-lapse these guys defending for now because I think this is the area where if anywhere breaks, it's going to be over here for sure. Look at that, more dead. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is the, the spot to watch, I think. Just like we thought, uh, the military zombies are getting deeper and deeper into the, um, we'll call them the medieval Warhammer units over here, I guess. I've been playing a lot of Total War Warhammer 3, I'm not gonna lie. I've been doing a, um, uh, 
a Dark Elves uh, run, and it's it's been so fun. Oh my god. By the way, I do have a, a Total War channel that I post to usually once or twice a week. It's really just a for fun project where I, I've been playing a, a Total War Attila Last Roman campaign over there, and then occasionally I'll do like disaster campaigns and historical battles and stuff like that. But it's really a low pressure just for fun whenever I feel like posting to. But if you guys ever want to go check it out, feel free to. Um, I might do a Warhammer Let's Play over there at some point. That could be kind of fun. Either way, right now Warhammer units still have 64,000 soldiers left. And the attackers only have 5 million troopers left. Uh, so some losses on both sides here. Warhammer started with about 70,000 troops. And the uh, zombies ended up starting with about... Uh, I think it was like 6.8 million total. A few got killed due to water. <laughs> yeah, a bunch spawned in the water. So a few, oh, more are rolling into the water too. Um, but obviously about 1.8 million of the zombies have died thus far. And about uh, 6,000 of the Warhammer units have died thus far. I think the Warhammer units will slowly start losing more and more. That tends to be what happens in these island battles. But for right now, they're holding up really, really well compared to some of the other uh, factions we've had defend the island. That is definitely for sure right there. So, we'll keep her going. I still think this is going to be making for the best time-lapse area right now because this is the area where more guys will be dying. So, let's watch this. All right, zombies dropping down to 4.4 milli left alive currently. Uh, the Warhammer units, oh, a bunch of the Imperial Guardsmen got stepped on over here. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, those Colossal Titans finally made landfall. Very nice, very, very nice, but still Chaos Marines going nuts over here. Oh, actually, a little bit of a carve out going on over this way with the trolls coming in. That's not too bad. Also, if they knock them into the water, they'll just drown, so. It could be a W strategy for the trolls. Like, yeah, look at this. A few of them have gotten knocked into the water, and yep, they're just slowly drowning. That is a W for the trolls right there. 59,000 Warhammer units currently remain uh, over this way. Yep, that that bridge is getting built. The body bridge is getting built over here, so that's that's a cause for concern for these Kriegsmarine over this way. That could be pretty deadly. And then for the Templar Knights over here. They're getting killed a little bit by little bit, but nothing too crazy. Nothing nothing too spicy. Why don't we watch them in some melee over here? Because that's always kind of fun. Why not? We'll do a little, a little melee time lapse over here with these, uh, these Templar Knights. All right, well, the zombie girls are still coming at those Templar Knights right there. It's getting brutal. Oh, and the bridge over here has formed. So, Freeze Marines are now having to deal with runner zombies coming in them and trolls coming in from the side. So, these guys might go down at some point here. They've still got the shotgun walkers helping them out, though. So, hopefully that can stop this a little bit. Uh, but the flood is open. How are the Imperial Guardsmen doing right now? We're at 52,000 Warhammer units. It looks like another Colossal Titan did hit them and got some kills. Oh, and over here too. But for the most part, they're still very much alive. There's still a lot of them. Looks like the Chaos Marines over here have taken some significant losses at this point, um, but are still crushing it. We've got a few Colossal Titans that might make it over to them over here. And if they do, they'll get wiped out super quick. But if they don't, it seems like they're doing pretty well. I don't understand why this area is just open. This oh, because some Chaos Marines apparently got blown over this way somehow? I don't know how. And um, now they're having to fight solo against Urukai and zombies over here. And that's probably not going super well for them. How are these guys doing? Uh, well, these guys have had a widened gap a little bit more. These military zombies still coming in every once in a while. One of them makes it to them, so I have a feeling these crossbowmen will eventually die out, but at the very least, they're putting on a better show than I would have thought. I mean, they've definitely gotten a lot of kills, which is solid, but these Colossal Titans could come over and just start killing them as well. But then we've got the Chaos uh, Sorcerers behind them who can get a lot of kills too, so it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Space Marines, of course, over here, 
they're just vibing. <laughs> they're just providing cover fire for everyone currently, so that's not too bad either. All right, well, let's let it run for a little while longer. All right, so I realized I never started the time lapse. My bad. Uh, so we'll do a quick check in here. It looks like the Chaos Sorcerers are starting to fire a little bit. As, yeah, those crossbowmen, they weren't super long. Eh, well, there's still some left over here, and they're firing that way. Um, but, yeah, they weren't super long for this world. They, they are getting taken out here a little bit. Um, it seems like the... The military zombies just kind of balled up and, and took them by storm, and their arrows just eventually weren't really able to stop them. So this will open up the flank over here, which will be interesting to see for sure. Um, over this way, Imperial Guardsmen still killing tons and tons of orcs and military zombies over this way. Uh, over here, it looks like maybe a little bit more progress got made on these Chaos Marines. Yeah, there's a few more pockets of them just sort of out here, which is interesting too. And then over here, we've got, uh, oh yeah, this is, I mean, a new body pile is forming over here, but it looks like the uh, Kree's Marine over this way are starting to take some more L's as more and more trolls and zombies come in at them. Um, but they're still alive. The cluster uh, tanks back here also still firing at these zombies and trolls over here. So still some kills getting, getting done that way, which is not too bad. All right, let's go check back in on the chaos. Oh no. Oh, a Colossal Titan has made it to shore. Oh, this is actually really, really bad. Chaos Sorcerers are getting good kills here, but the Colossal Titan just steps even a little bit close, and yep, there they go. They're dying. Yeah, he's got a very large step radius where he can get kills just by stepping around enemies, and that is why these Chaos Sorcerers are likely to die pretty quick here. So that must have been the guy who was sort of bumbling around there for a while. He finally decided to come to shore, and so this entire flank is just opening up right now as the Colossal Titan comes on in, as well as military zombies come on in the sides too. And that's going to open up the cluster tanks and the Kriegsmarine to flank, as well as these guys over here. And potentially, the Space Marines too. Oh, they do kill the Colossal Titan. That's good. That's real good for them. If that didn't happen, that would be super bad. But let's time-lapse these guys defending for a little bit. There we go, most of the Chaos Sorcerers are dead. There's a few lingering here who will eventually die, but it might just take a little bit for the zombies to get down to them. And there's a few on the buildings too, but I don't think they're gonna get a crazy amount of kills or anything like that. Just a, just a wee bit here and there. I think these guys are actually missing most of their shots. They're going over the heads of the zombies, so that's incredible. But yeah, they died. R.I.P. to the boys. They didn't do very well, I will say. The flank is not happening yet, although these guys, I'm sure, will get flunked at some point here. A um, few more deaths over here, but right now, actually, this is a dwindling supply of zombies. They used up all of their zombies and trolls building the bridge, and now that the bridge is built, they don't really have a whole lot coming in to attack anymore. So that's that might be a moot thing for them. There's still 25,000 Warhammer units from the starting 70,000. Uh, and there's still 2.1 million uh, surviving zombie units from the starting 7 million. So actually, the ratio is a bit on par here. They're actually, yeah, it's, it's a bit similar. Not too bad. Uh, there are these uh, guys right here. They might come up and start killing some of these Chaos Marines, potentially. That would be cr pretty crazy. Pr pretty crazy right there. Um, but for now... These guys are still vibing out. Let's do another time lapse right here. We still got a lot of battle to go through here, baby. And I still think the Warhammer units could potentially lose this thing if they continue to take the losses they've been taking recently. Well, it looks like the Colossal Titans died, but they took a few of the Chaos Warriors with them, which is not a bad thing at all. Um, a few more Colossal Titans went over here, but it doesn't look like they really killed any more Imperial Guardsmen over here. We're at 1.5 million zombie warriors left. Actually, we've got a number of the military zombies charging uh, the Ultramarines over here. A few of them are even making it to them, but not getting any kills. So, those guys are okay. The Emperor of Mankind is still vibing. Heck yeah, buddy. Um, oh, oh, well, <laughs> I kind of thought these died, but no, they're still alive. They're still kicking it. Um, it looks like they did get attacked by a few zombies, um, but now the zombies are going for the space marines instead of the cluster missiles, which is probably a mistake. Um, looks like a few of the Templar Knights, a few more of them are dying over here, so they might die out. I don't know. We'll have to see. 
Um, and then the Kree's Marine over here are still doing well, and they have eliminated pretty much all of their zombie problems, so they're pretty much good. They're pretty much good to go. The highest concentration of zombies is still over here um, against these boys, so why don't we watch as they continue the fight? All right, those Templar Knights all pretty much died over here. There's a couple more standing over this way, but it seems like they're going to go down. And then the Cluster Rockets over here are probably going to go down after that. Um, and then maybe they'll assault these guys. I'm not entirely sure which direction they'll start going, but over here still seems pretty fine. It seems like the Warhammer unit's got a good grip on things. 1.2 million zombies remaining, um, but this avenue will eventually get flanked here so let's wait a little bit and see all right so it looks like the zombies are in fact flanking the kriegsmarine over this way uh so they're coming in the backs of them over here they did kill the cluster uh missiles pretty easily i mean these things actually they might have already been dead because they hadn't been firing for a while i'm not entirely sure to be honest but um either way they're coming through the flank here now. Uh, they still got the shotgun robots. They're still getting attacked a little bit over here, but nothing too bad. So we'll see if they can hold out over there. Space Marines over this way, uh, still holding perfectly fine. And Imperial Guardsmen seem to be holding perfectly fine as well. So let's let it run. All right, we're now at 300,000 zombies remaining. 18,256 Warhammer units remaining. It looks like these guys over here are still holding tight. They've got a body pile of zombies over here. Um, the Space Marines over here also still holding tight. Body pile of zombies over here. <laughs> and these guys still holding tight. <laughs> uh, and these guys over here have killed all their enemies. So it's really just enemies coming from over here and over here at this point. So. We'll continue to let it ride, probably won't time-lapse anything else because I'm running out of storage and there's not really a lot going on, so let's just let it ride. Alright, now we're at the last 100,000 zombies on the battlefield. Still got a little trickle in from over here, still got some over here and some over this way. Why don't we just go ahead and nuke the battlefield, baby? A skadoosh! Very nice. Oh, I killed some Imperial Guardsmen. That's fine, they're dying as a sacrifice to the Empire. Yes, sir. Beautiful. All right, a triumphant Warhammer victory. Honestly, it's not easy to win on the island defense here. We've done it many times, and many times soldiers have failed, but Warhammer units are seriously powerful, so I'm not surprised they won it here. Um, oh, by, well, by the way, all these Colossal Titans were already dead before I dropped the nuke. Um, they just appear standing when you zoom very far away. Fun fact. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to be about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.